everyone it's Maxine here from Northumberland Zoo I thought I would do a quick video before we reopen uh, this is our first weekend that we've been back reopened again uh, it's the 17th of April uh, and we're geared up for a very very busy day we obviously reopened on the 12th um, which was last Monday and this week already we have welcomed somewhere near 3,000 guests so far so this weekend we're hoping to welcome another like 1500 people which is really exciting and that's obviously all within government restrictions and guidelines so it's been an awesome week the weather's been like this all week which has been amazing uh, the animals have been loving it um, the people have been loving it we sold loads of ice cream which is awesome um, and yeah if you want to come along to the zoo you still need to pre-book on our website at northumberlandzoo.co.uk so let's just have a little look at the entrance Happy face, smiley faces! Yay! Everybody's happy for a Saturday! <laughs> oh, look at all the snow leopard stuff. Are we selling loads of stuff with our logo and stuff on it yet? We are, yeah, lots of it. Yeah? So where are they then? Oh, they there's are one. Here, yeah. Ah, so. Look at this! Amazing! <laughs> So we've done really, really well in our gift shop. We sold all kinds of zoo stuff, which is amazing. Um, we've got our own personalized, custom labeled snow leopards, which are super cool. Um, they've got the sewn in tag as well with our name on it. And it says on there about snow leopards and uh, it's got a bit of a conservation message and obviously our logo on it. And what's really cool about these toys is that they are called Ecokins because they're made from 100% recycled materials. Um, so really cool to be able to to have them in our name and obviously we have loads of stuff from the snow leopard trust as well which is awesome so let's head on through and i'll show you what's been happening at the uh, entrance oh, it's so nice to have it all lovely and organized again which is awesome oh. so we notice a bit of a change here um got this new enclosure um, which obviously here there used to be two different sheds and now we've got this massive kind of area which has got a new species coming in next week so it's got loads of diggable areas in it and got a lovely big log in the middle for a century um, so you guys can have a little think about what you think might be going in here um, they'll be arriving next week And then our maintenance team have been busy working over here. Have a little look at what this is. So we've got a brand new attraction here, which are like little mini diggers, um, which you can sit on and dig gravel and stuff, which is cool. And that's right next to our brand new tractor track. The tractor tracks are not open yet, um, but hopefully it will be within the next week or so. Um, but yeah, the mini diggers are definitely going to be a hit and they're going to be open from today. So they'll be good. We got them all the way from Sweden. Right, so I'll take you down and show you the new meerkat house because the meerkats moved in this week uh, and the porcupines. The porcupines have never left since they moved in there. So uh, I think they really, really like it. So I'll show you that. Oh, I'll have a little look at the provosts while they're out. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hello. They're so cool. So Nacho's got himself a new girlfriend in here somewhere. We decided to call her Cheese. So hopefully we might have some little Provost Squirrel babies soon, which will be really cool. Very cute. <laughs> right, we'll head down to the meerkats.
Obviously with the current restrictions, indoor areas are still closed unfortunately, so that's the hot house and the nocturnal area as well. Um, but all everything else is pretty much outdoors or has outdoor access, which is cool. So you can see most things. Um, so there's the meerkats over there, having a wee look. So yeah, me and Charlotte are in the new meerkat house and uh, we've just got it finished. It's uh, day three of opening, so we're a little bit late. Um, but you know, we've been busy. So the meerkats are just in their exhibit at the moment. They've been trying to break the door down, trying to get through to see what we're doing. Um, Cause we've busted through the old viewing window, which you might be able to see. Yep, so it's just one big hole now. So the meerkats will have access through there. And what we'll do is we'll just open up the little door and hopefully they'll come running through because they're super inquisitive. So I'm sure they'll come and check it out. So here they come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey kids, you coming? So here's the house. So the really cool thing about the house is that we've installed this screen which shows you what's going on in the porcupine cave at the back because before they had this house you couldn't actually see them. So you know it's nice to be able to have a little camera on them that they don't know about so that you can see them still if, even if they're not out and about. Obviously the crested porcupines are nocturnal so they would tend to be kind of hidden away during the day anyways. Um, so yeah, the house is looking really, really cool. The meerkats are really enjoying it and they come up and sit on the ledge, which is nice. Um, so they get really, really close to the people, which is cool as well. So yeah, overall, it's been a great week. The weather's been nice. We've had all kinds of people down. Everyone's really happy. I think everyone's just happy to be out. Um, and it's happy to see, we're happy to see people's faces again, which is cool. Um, we're not out of, the, out of the woods yet. We have just applied for the zoo support fund because we've got into our last 12 weeks of operating funds. Um, we're hoping to try and curb that, um, obviously letting people in again, but it's still a very, very tricky time for us. You know, it's been the most difficult year that we've had, you know, ever. So we'll just have to see what happens. And I think everything will be fine. We, we should be fine should be good thank you very much for watching and uh i'll see you again next week when we get the new species in and uh yeah have a little guess in the meantime of what you think it might be if you haven't already please do like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel uh, every little helps and uh yeah hopefully we'll see you soon bye guys <laughs>